Today on the Survivor Diet Challenge, I'm gonna show you guys how to turn this into this and eventually into this. Heading out front today to harvest some asparagus and you're not gonna believe this. Check this out. Look how big these asparagus have grown in just like a couple of days. This says of this one. Compared to my hand. Huge, right? Spot where an asparagus breaks like that when you bend it is usually the spot that you can eat up until in this part gets really fibrous so sometimes you can't break that. It's still pretty good. So I try to bend it really close to the end instead of cutting it and just break off the fibrous part. If it's fibrous it's gonna do that. It's gonna bend and not break. So you just keep going up the stalk until it snaps. There you go. That was a good example right there. The reason why it's getting all white around the edges is because what I just put in there was a couple of scoops of super saturated salt solution. Kind of it was like a salt poaching or salt steaming. Bunch of sea robin and asparagus. Lunch time. Happy Easter, everybody. I'm having my Sunday brunch right now, which consists of asparagus and sea robin. Sunday brunch. If it does the job, it keeps me healthy, I'm okay with it. Hey, by the way, no headache my first official survivor diet where I have not gotten a detox headache in the beginning and I don't know what to directly attribute that to but I'm gonna say it's because I've been keeping my weight down and I've been not going totally overboard eating unhealthy and I've been working out at the gym that's all I have for us today Today is Sunday, like I already mentioned, which means I should be out there doing something outside, out there, outside. It's almost noon. I'm gonna get gas for the boat, because it's time to get some gas in the boat, and take maybe a little uh, boat ride right around the local water, see if there's any bluefish going on there. My plan this afternoon was just to go get some gas for the boat, so that it would be ready for the first trip of the season. However, 
While I was at the gas station, an old friend of mine happened to be driving by in his truck and he saw my boat. He was actually on his way to go try some fishing at the beach. So after we started talking for a little while, I asked him if he would like to go out and throw some lures off the boat in the river for about an hour or so. It was such a lucky coincidence. His name is Nirav and it's too bad he lives about an hour away because he's a great guy and I wish we could do some more fishing together. I've said this many times before, but one of the big benefits of the survivor diet is it just gets you outside doing things. In this example, I was just getting gas for the boat and I ran into an old friend of mine who I haven't seen in years, and now we're gonna go fishing. Let's go see if we can get a bluefish or something. My old friend Nirav came driving by, honking his horn, and he said, let's go catch some fish. So I said, let's go, let's do it. Let's put an hour out there on the water. Let's do it. First time out on the boat this year, and so far the engine turned right over when I turned it on. It gave me a little uh, hiccup when I tried to gun it, but not too bad. I'm gonna hit some of these points over here and see if we can see if there's any fish around. But uh, unfortunately, the water's kind of nasty looking. It's like chocolate milk. It's really dirty. So I don't know if that's good or bad, but we're gonna give it a shot. It's a nice size, but I think it's a keeper. <laughs> I'm gonna tie your mouth. Got a striper on. I got you. That is just keeper size. That's awesome. Right, right on the nose, I bet. Good eat. No, Rob, you can get your first striper. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I'm working out. <laughs> well, we got that one fish, and that was it. We're packing it in now. We're just trolling on our way back to the boat ramp. But we spent what about we've been an hour out here, and uh, so just those couple little quick explosions in the water. Lucky to catch that one nice striper. Pretty sure he's 28 inches. I'll have to give him a measure <laughs> afterwards. No, I, I didn't say that. I, mean, I don't mean that. Perfectly 28 and a half inches on the nose. So. Keeper, striper. Nerev didn't catch anything though. <laughs> nope. Next time it'll be his turn. Look what we got today. Measured it up 28 inches right on the nose. It's a nice small keeper fish, which is really good eating size. So I can't just go to clean him. He just died right now. So I'm gonna put him in a cooler with some ice and some seawater. Nice seawater slurry, saltwater ice slurry. It's a personal preference, but I keep most of my fish like this, fluke and striped bass and bluefish, keep them in the salt slurry overnight. Don't like to clean the fish the same day that I catch them because it just lets the flesh kind of harden and firm up a little bit and makes it a lot cleaner fillet. So you'll see that tomorrow when we do that. So not bad. This fish will really help sustain me for the next few days, uh, especially because I have work uh, tomorrow and the next day. So looking pretty good so far. Leftovers for lunch, for dinner. That's how we do it. Moderation, try not to eat meals that are too large. If you make enough food, put some away, have it for a different meal. This is the end of day five. We did a pretty good job day five. We're still doing well, not hungry at all, and have, have plenty in reserves for the next couple days. Next time on The Survivor Diet. Thanks for watching.
watching and supporting my channel, you guys. For more videos like these, please don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps a lot. I can't complain about the weather. So why is there a butt? I don't know why there's a butt.